Hello everyone and welcome to Diablo 4. This has just released after something like a 10 year wait since the last one. I know fans have been chomping at the bit to get more of it. Uh, me, I have not got a huge history with Diablo. I did play a little bit of Diablo 3, probably close to 10 years ago. And uh, I, I liked what I played, but never I was playing with a mate, never got around to going back to it. So uh, yeah, this is going to be a fairly fresh experience for me and I'm pretty excited to jump in and uh, see see how it is, how it feels, how it plays, all of that. Uh, it has just launched, so there is a little bit of worry that maybe the servers will be messed up, but it is early access, so less people trying to connect at once, so hopefully it will all be good. Yes, it's all good. Okay. We love to see it. All right, time to get into a Diablo vibe. This is, a, this is a pretty grim game from what I've gathered. I haven't played any of the betas or anything. Quiet. Shut up. Cease and desist, my guy. That have our scent. Run! That is looking like a big old hole. How did they how did they make that? Blizzard Entertainment presents. Oh, is this the I think I've actually seen this. Wasn't this the announcement trailer from I don't know, Game Awards or something? Like a good few years ago? Are you out of your mind? He's not going to make it! Blessed Akarat, my eternal light protects me, my divine haste. Guys. Look at me! All the gold we want is right there. Oh, I, I just came here for knowledge. They're coming! I know. Get over here! Now, breach the seal. Get us through that door! Yeah, it's been a, it's been quite a long time, but I I'm pretty sure I remember this. Oh, my God. And it was a good ass trailer. I didn't realise it'd be the opening cutscene. Very cool. My, my, my three, they come. My three, thy way opens. Blood show. This doesn't make any sense. Blood. Blood. Blood is the key. B blood is the key! Ah, what? I need two of you! No! Go! I'll hold them! Go! So, it, it says the, the blood of the willing goes. Uh. You gotta be kidding me! Yeah, that's definitely not sus at all. Oh, we just have to open this door with our blood. What could go wrong? We have to help him. He's dead already. Well, R.I.P. that guy. He looked cool. I liked his uh, eye patch. Oh well, cheer up. Gold splits better three ways instead of four. Yeah, you're definitely getting lots of gold here, mate. Somewhere. Read this. I wonder how uh, how often we'll be getting like sick, gorgeous cutscenes like this in the game. Is it just going to be like a once at the start and once at the end kind of thing, or more regularly? Because this is like really. High production value. Hail, hail the the creator. Oh, hail the daughter. Of... Oh no, 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 no. What about the coin? What's it say? This is forbidden. This is a summoning. I cannot speak. Don't lie to me. We came here for treasure. 
What is this place? I, I, I don't know. <sighs> maybe, maybe, maybe it's a temple. Or, or a tomb. Or... It's a gate. Jesus. From the abyss, we seek thy salvation. By three they come. By three thy way opens. By the blood of the willing. We call thee home. Yeah, the blood of the willing. Yeah. Very willing. Come. Blessed I corrupt, thy eternal life protects me, thy divine wisdom guides me. Open your eyes. Eternal life protects me, eternal life protects me, thy eternal life protects me, eternal life protects me, eternal life. There is no light here. You came to the darkness for knowledge. And all the knowledge you seek is here. Surrender. Speak the words. Call her home. By three, they come. By three, thy way opens. By the blood of the willing, we call thee home. Man, that is so grim. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be an interesting game. Hail, daughter of hatred. Creator of sanctuary. Hail. Fucking, you can see the heart through the skin. Ugh. There we go, Diablo 4. What an intro, man. That has got to be one of the best opening cutscenes to a game, like, just ever. <laughs> that is really, really sick. I am very much in. Okay, so now we have the actual hard choice. There are five classes, and we're picking one. And that is a very permanent choice 
for like obviously then it goes into like seasons eventually and stuff and you can re-roll and but like for this playthrough this is a permanent choice so what are we gonna do let's have a look shall we barbarian powerful warriors who rely on brute force to subdue their enemies able to swap between an array of powerful weapons during combat ensuring they are prepared for any situation berserking bleed bleed would probably be good walking arsenal unbridled rage okay uh the necromancer the enigmatic necromancers are custodians of the balance between life and death. They can raise powerful undead armies to fight for them while also wielding the powerful magics of bone, shadow, and blood. Undead army. Uh, bone, physically assail enemies. Darkness, crowd control elements. Blood, siphon the life from enemies with blood magic. Very cool, very cool. Sorcerer, masters of the elements, inflicts cold, fire, and lightning. Frost chills, freezes, pyromancy, high damage and burn. Shock uh, reduces cooldowns and has good crits. Okie doke. The rogue. The cunning rogue uses whatever tools are available to get the job done. Rogues are both agile and resourceful, able to fight enemies at range with bows or up close with daggers. They are also able to imbue their weapons with various magics. Marksman. Tight them with bows and arrows, uh, imbuing, laying traps on the ground, okay. And last but not least, druid. Flexible and resilient druids harness the power of nature to protect life. Druids can shapeshift between the cunning werewolf and the powerful werebear to fight their enemies. Additionally, those who prefer spellcasting can unleash earth and storm magic from a distance. Can turn into a werewolf, turn into a werebear, uh, call upon the storm to rain lightning down. Earth magic limits enemy movement with crowd control effects. Okay, so... What are we going to pick? Well, I would say it's not going to be Rogue. Uh, it's not going to be Barbarian. It's not going to be Druid. The two I'm most interested in are Necromancer and Sorcerer. I think... I think Necromancer, because that's like the kind of thing that you don't often get the chance to actually play in games. Like... You know, I've often been a, you know, sword and shield or two-handed weapon kind of barbarian kind of thing. I've played rogues in other games. I guess druid I haven't played that much of in other games. Uh, sorcerer, I do really enjoy a sorcerer vibe, but I also, yeah, have played quite a few magic-based classes in other games. I feel like I don't think I've ever played a necromancer in my life. <laughs> I think, and it's quite a cool, uh, it's quite a cool vibe. Definitely fits with the Diablo like vibe overall so you know what let's do that let's be a necromancer and see how that goes okay uh select and customize body type uh... let's go that's pretty cool What options do you have? Ooh, well maybe I'll go with that, actually. They're, there's, they're like similar options, but just for each gender. Oh, wow. You can go, like, full customization. Okay. Uh... Hairstyles. All looks pretty good, honestly. <laughs> um, I do like that first one, though. Scarlet for the... Fit the theme. Skin tone, very pale. We're a necromancer. We've got to be pale. Actually, I guess if we're a necromancer, maybe we should have, like, black hair or something. Maybe go red eyes. And, uh, oops. Red eyes, but keep the black hair. That sounds pretty good. Uh, makeup, what do we want? Mmm. 
Yeah, let's stick with that. Jewelry. Loads of options. Maybe that. Yeah, let's go with those red ones. Fit the theme a little bit. There they are. Uh, I like the markings. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, hardcore. Warning, hardcore heroes die permanently. No. How about... No. Uh, name. Right. Uh, let's go with... Oh, God, I don't know. Um... What, what should we name them? What should we name them? Let's go with... Uh... Ash. Sure. That works. Wait, can is Ash only... Is Ash... Can Ash go for girls as well? I was like, Ash sounds good. And then I was like, hang on. Ash from Pokemon is a dude. Does Ash work for a girl? I, it, yeah, whatever. It's fine. I like it. If it didn't before, it does now. Ash, let's go. Tutorial preference. More guidance, less guidance. Uh, I am a new Diablo player, pretty much. So, let's go more guidance. Uh, select difficulty. Adventurer. New players who... For players who are new to Diablo or want a light challenge. Or World Tier 2. Diablo veterans who want more of a challenge. Enemies are more challenging. Monsters give 20% increased experience. And monsters drop 15% more gold. Hmm. <laughs> well... I mean... I am new to Diablo. However, I would like 20% increased experience. That sounds great. That's a huge experience buff. To be on the harder mode. Huh. That is a difficult choice. I guess I'll go... Well, Tier 2? Because I would like that increased experience and gold. But I guess we can pr we can probably drop it if it's really hard, right? Seems good. Seems good. Queued for game. Start game pending. I guess we're straight in. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm impressed that their servers are holding up. Sanctuary was never meant for humankind. It was forged as a refuge from the war between the high heavens and the burning hells. Instead, it became a new battleground in this eternal conflict. A secretive group called the Haradrim has kept mortals safe. But now this once powerful order is a husk of what it was. And Sanctuary's ancient creators have returned to claim the hearts of humankind. All right. This is the story of their downfall. By the way, if anything's off with the sound balance, I will uh, fix that for the next part. I couldn't really get into uh, here what the sound would be like in advance, so I just balanced it off the title screen, which was kind of quiet, so hopefully it's fine. But yeah, we, if there's any issues, I'm sure it'll be mostly fine, but if there is any, then... Uh, That'll be fixed for the next part once I've been able to listen back to the old recording. Yeah, I'm happy with my happy with my necromancer choice. I am excited to see how a necromancer plays because yeah, I'm trying to think of all the games I've played and obviously lots of magic, lots of sword and shield, but like actual necromancy is the main vibe of the class. Can't think of ever doing that. So yeah, this should be good. There's definitely a part of me that's hoping to get, like, super addicted to this. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people where this kind of game, uh, along with, like, Path of Exile, that kind of thing, this is, like, their absolute main jam.
And I'm <laughs> half of me is like, I don't have time to get fully addicted to this. But then the other half of me is like, I kind of would like to though. <laughs> But we will see. We will see. We have a full campaign ahead of us, and however much endgame stuff I feel like doing, to see if I can get fully sucked in. Getting all my legendaries and becoming as powerful as possible, all that jazz. Hello! Congratulations, beast! I think you're about to have the honor of being my first victim. Big day for you. Here we are. <laughs> the very sudden shift in, uh, in graphics there. Right. I should find better shelter before I freeze. Okay, I should find better shelter before I freeze. So, what have we got? I think we've got left bumper is heal potion, it looks like. B is sprint. I need more time. Oh no, B is dash, okay. Uh, then X does nothing right now. A is slap. Give it the old slap. Uh, y looks like it's going to raise the dead. Or not. Hmm, okay, uh, not sure. Got him. Uh, was there anything? Oh, I just noticed the. Yeah, there is. There is definitely a way to go this way. Let's have a look, shall we? The map in the uh, top right. Ooh, hello. And gold, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Lost pack? What does that do for me? Not sure. Do I have an inventory? Oh, hang on, I do. Wait a sec. Uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Attack power, armor, life, we've got full-on uh, gear progression. Ability trees, okay, let's not look at that yet. <laughs> We're gonna get a whole lot of time in that menu as later, I'm sure. Is this a dead end up here? Looks like it. Road's blocked. Should clear up when the storm has passed. Okie dokie. Yeah. Guys just respawned. Did I just kill these guys? Maybe that was a different place. Ah, okay. I can. I res from corpses of things I kill with A. Okay, that makes more sense. Right, got it. Oh well, now you're fucked, mate. Do they last indefinitely until they're like they have their own health bars? It looks like. Do they just last until they're killed? Nevesk. Demons. Everywhere. 
Fangs in the dark. Ah! He bit me! Careful! He's a wild one. Hello? Don't mind my skeleton friends. What's going on here? What's it to you? Oswen, hush! I'm sorry, Wanderer. You've come at a difficult time. This madman just stumbled into town and started causing trouble. Demons spilling from the ruins. Kill us all. Kill us all. Ruins? What is he talking about? Come, I'll explain. Uh, what was that chain symbol that just appeared above their heads? There is evil staring in the ruins to the north. That poor monk back there must have gone inside. Even a holy man like him was driven mad by whatever he saw. Brought these down from Kyo. Hello. Okay. Uh, well, we have 127 gold. New stock delivery in five minutes, apparently. Um, I actually don't know. What, what weapon do I use? What's it called? Uh... It's a scythe, okay. And I guess I just, I guess the scythe, I was wondering if I needed like a staff or something to better res, like the raise the dead and stuff, but no, it is just a scythe. Plus one life on kill, okay, cool. Um, so do you have, you don't have any scythes, do you? You have that, you have a wand, which I assume is for sorcerers. You have that, which I assume is for Barbarians. Basically, I'm assuming that I there's no point in me buying those. What's that? Y you say something? I'm hurt. Oh, cheers, mate. If Devmir's taking up all the space by the fire, just give him a shove. <laughs> Fire's looking good, but I should watch it a little longer to make sure it doesn't go out. Uh, finally, some shelter from the storm. I'm sorry, it's a bit cramped. It's still better than a cave. Uh, what can you tell me about the people here? Alenta went a bit deaf last winter. You might need to speak up around her. Uh, what is this place? Uh, nothing special about our little town, but it's home. What about the monk? We'll do what we can for him. Might have to keep him in the shed for now, though. He tried to bite off Osman's fingers. Yeah, probably a good idea. Uh, it isn't safe here. Could you protect us from whatever is out there? We have nowhere else to turn. Evil is gathering strength in those ruins. I will bring it to heal. Truly? Oh, thank you. Well, hey! Uh, navigate to abilities to spend your skill points. Oh boy, right. Basic skills deal damage and are always available to cast. Okay. Uh, so you need two points to go down here. Spend the number of skill points indicated to enable this connection. Okay, well, let's start with the basics, shall we? Oh, these all... Okay, these ones all just go off to a little bit, so... How big is the skill tree eventually? Oh, it's big. <laughs> Oh, it's pretty big. 33 skill points to unlock this. Jesus. What do you get for that? Increase maximum life by 10% after being healthy for 15 seconds. Your next blood skill overpowers. Uh, shadow Blight. Shadow damage infects enemies with Shadow Blight. Your minions deal 10% more damage. Every 10th time an enemy receives Shadow Damage, they take an additional 5 damage. After you've not taken damage in the last 3 seconds, they gain attack speed. And if you have seven, the bonus is double. That sounds kind of insane. Uh, bone skills deal 1% increased damage for each point of essence you have above... For each point of essence you have above 50. Right. Okay, well that all sounds crazy. It's going to be a long time before we get there. Um, okay, so reap. Basic and darkness skill. Uh, f generate essence four per enemy hit. Uh, sweep an ethereal scythe in front of you, dealing three damage. Hitting an enemy with reap increases your damage reduction for two seconds. Okay. Uh, decompose. Eight, 
generates 8 essence per second, tear the flesh from an enemy, dealing 8 damage per second, and forming a usable corpse with the flesh every 2.5 seconds. That sounds very cool. Uh, hemorrhage. Burst an enemy's blood, dealing 7 damage. Hemorrhage has a 20% chance to form a blood orb, which heals you for 15% of your max life. That's pretty great. Uh... And Bone Splinters. Fire three Bone Splinters, dealing two damage each. Each subsequent time an enemy is hit by the same cast, you gain one essence. Okay. And then, like, what are these? These, like, you spend more skill points to further upgrade them. 25% chance to fire two additional projectiles. Make enemies vulnerable. Uh, oh, you may only select one of these two. Right, okay. What about the blood one? Uh, next hemorrhage deals damage to enemies around your target. Uh, grants 1.6% base life as fortify and has a 1.5% chance per enemy hit to fortify you for 100% or additional 20% attack speed when healthy. What was healthy again? Uh, more than 80% of their life. Right. Uh, enhanced. If an enemy dies while being decomposed, you gain 10 essence. Uh... Deal 10% increased damage to enemies who are being decomposed. Slows enemies. Okay. When it says basic darkness channeled, channeled means it has a cast time, right? If you're channeling a spell, I think that means you're casting a spell. So it has, it, it's not it's not an instant thing. Uh, and over here we have, if an enemy hit by reap dies within 2 seconds, you gain 30% attack speed. Uh, forms a corpse under the first enemy hit every 5 seconds. Instantly kills enemies below 5% life. Does not work on bosses or players. Hmm. Oh, and I, I've just also noticed that as well as these upgrades, these are also all naught out of 5. So then they can be further upgraded. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to take so long to, like, actually get, like, fully upgraded, isn't it? Oh, man. Okay, I'm kind of looking forward to it, though. Um, okay. I'm thinking Reap, honestly. It gives you damage reduction. You generate essence. I mean, it sounds pretty good. Well, I mean, this also sounds good with the heals. Burst an enemy's blood. Honestly, it all sounds pretty good. <laughs> uh, the fact this forms a usable corpse just by doing it, like, that is also pretty good, right? Oh, man. I'm sure, uh give it a few weeks and there'll be like build guides out for like the best things to take but uh we will uh we will not be able to make use of those because it will take a while for those to come out so <laughs> i guess we're just picking whatever uh i mean my initial instinct was reap let's do that skill has been auto assigned to the action bar right Uh, has it? I'm not seeing it on the action bar. Or has it replaced? Oh, it replaced our basic A. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, and then next rank, damage up to three. Wait, isn't the damage already three? Damage is already three. Sweep an ethereal scythe in front of you, dealing three damage. Next rank, damage three. Unless it means increase it by three to six. If it does mean that, not super clear. Whatever. Um, can we go out through this door? No. Okay, so I've just got a different. Not while I'm in town. Ah. Ice Howl Tiger. Oh wow, that's got range on it. I didn't realize that had such range. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm pleased with my choice with that amount of range. That's great. Arctic bear. Where was the bear? Hello, Mr. Bear. I couldn't bear to see you hurt. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ooh, what was that? Wait, did it just instantly disappear? 
It looked like I got a big, a bigger creature because I rezzed a bear, but then it looked like it instantly disappeared. I have a lot to learn about how stuff works in Diablo, if you didn't. <laughs> Skelly versus Skelly action. Okay, so does it let, so I have four at the moment. Can I just keep making more? No, okay, I think the bigger one is because you've picked up a new item, right? I think the bigger one is to show that you're at your current max or something. Uh, what was it? Gloves, right? Uh, oh, it's down here. Do, do, do. Uh, plus seven. Unlocks new look on salvage. Right. Equip. Wait, did I just see durability? Oh, we have durability. I did not know that durability was a thing in this game. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Yoink. Fuck you, Archer. Man, this feels really good to swing, this scythe. Healing potions can drop from enemies and objects and are automatically picked up when not at max capacity. But I am at max capacity. Good, good. And just to check once again. Yeah, it doesn't let me, uh, doesn't let me have more than four currently. I'm sure that expands later. In fact, it definitely does because we've read a skill that was like about having seven. This is feeling good. This is feeling good. Uh, up here then. Hello. Hide pants. Don't mind if I do. Twenty-two item power. Twenty-two armor. Whereas the one down here was eleven. Right. Cool. Uh. Hide comparison, drop, marker's junk. Marker's junk. We're about to level up again, I note. Ice Howl Ruins. Is this a dungeon? Our first little dungeon. Search the depths of Ice Howl Ruins. Okie doke. Okie doke. Man, I, I'm really happy I picked this scythe. I, swinging that just feels good. They've really got the feel of that down. I don't know how to describe it because you're just watching it. I don't know how to convey the fact that it just feels great to swing. It just does, you know. Oh, hello. Uh, 22, 22. Exact same, basically. So may as well mark that as junk to sell. Love a good marker's junk system. Just mark everything as I go along, and then uh, probably, presumably I can just sell it all at once. And it means that we won't have to do a shitload of menuing every time I go to a shop, which is always appreciated. Satisfying feedback from breaking these things. Okay, we got a. This is a dead end door. Anything in here? No. How did I miss that? Bonk. Gold. Yeah. Time to die, bitches! Yeah. Level three! Lovely jubbly. Uh, let's have a look at the old abilities then. So we can get... Uh, if an enemy hit by reap dies within two seconds, you gain 30% attack speed. I mean, this does happen quite a bit, right? That seems like a good thing to get. Oh, it's not... I see. I just realized it's not that you have to spend two skill points to unlock that. It's that, like, it doesn't... You don't spend... You don't hover over this and save up two and then press it here. It's two points total spent unlocks this. Right. Good. Um, cool. Also, I mean, I guess I should be... Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed the upgrade immediately. It is a good upgrade, but maybe I should have got something else because you can then be pressing multiple things, right? S getting uh, getting more stuff out there makes stuff die faster, but it's whatever. It's fine. So we're going to be looking at this stuff soon. What's this? Your maximum essence is increased by three. I'm still not entirely sure what essence is. Uh, this doesn't have anything to do with essence, right? It generates, essence. it generates four essence per enemy hit, but I guess essence is something 
that I'll be spending. Maybe, I think the blue orb in the bottom left is probably essence, and then later skills probably spend essence, right? Your core skills cost 3% more essence, but deal 5% increased damage. Huh. I mean, I guess that is a good trade-off. Uh, Blood Lance. Ooh. Lingers an enemy, dealing 19 damage to the enemy and all other lanced enemies. 15 essence cost. Right, there we go. That sounds great. Uh, pierces through enemies who are currently lanced. Uh, after casting Blood Lance eight times, your next is guaranteed to Overpower, which deals bonus damage based on the sum of your current life and fortified life, and spawns a Blood Orb. Or, while at least two enemies or a boss are affected, you gain attack speed and essence cost is reduced. Blood Surge, draw blood from enemies, dealing five damage, and expel a Blood Nova. Nova damage is increased by 10% per enemy drained. That sounds great as well. Heals you when drawing blood from enemies. That sounds good. Uh, you're fortified. While you have uh, fortified characters, take 10% reduced damage. You become fortified when you have more fortify than life. Right. Enemy damage by Nova while you're healthy, then you gain overwhelming blood. When you have five stacks of that, then you overpower. Blight costs 25. That's a high. Ooh, hiccup. That's a higher cost one. Unleashes Concentrated Blight that deals 8 damage and leaves behind a Defiled Area that does 22 damage over 6 seconds. Right, so that's a bit of an AoE. Uh, it also slows enemies. Uh, you deal increased damage within the Blight. Okay, that's actually going to be crazy. 30% uh, chance to immobilize enemies. Nah, the, the increased damage, that is going to be great. You slow them to keep them in it. Yeah, no, that is definitely something. That, that, and that, I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting. Um, Sever... Spectre of you charges forward and attacks with its scythe for 17 damage and then returns to you and attacks again for 5. Sever damages enemies along the path, 25%. Every fourth cast makes them vulnerable, which means they take 20% more. Uh, deals 2% increased damage for each minion you have. And then over here, Hewed Flesh. Your damage has a 4% chance to create a corpse at the location. Hmm. Oh, and over here... Bone Spear that deals 24 damage and pierces. Breaks into three shards when destroyed, dealing seven damage each. Makes the first enemy vulnerable. 5% uh, increased critical strike chance. If it critical strikes, it fires two additional shards. Costs 25, does 24 damage. That seems pretty good as well. Man, Whew, there is a lot. There is so much. <laughs> oh, this is good. Fucking have him. Uh, so I'm full on life. Am I full on life? It looks like I've lost a little bit of life in the bottom left. However, I'm not picking up the all. So I guess that means I'm not. Pants. Are they any better? Uh, they are. Yes, they are. Quick. Mark the old ones as junk. Lovely. Oh, that's persistent damage. Okay. B to evade. Yep, I should probably remember to do that. <laughs> I'm just swinging away currently, but that's not going to be a good plan forever. <laughs> Skeleton captain. Oh, he's... Is that what fortify looks like? Man had a fortified look about him. Wait, is this the way to go? I just, this is... I didn't realize how big this area was when I walked in. I've still got four, right? And I still can't make any more. Yeah, okay. Oh! Low on life? No, I'm not. I've got loads of life. 
That, oh right, I have to level two skeleton. That's why it's taking so so much longer to kill. I see. Oh wait, are, are my are my guys dead? Oh right, I didn't realize my guys were dead. Boom, level four. Okay, gotta gotta actually pay attention. They they'd never really taken damage before, so I I wasn't uh I wasn't taking note of the fact that they were all dying. <laughs> Strider's hand wraps. Ooh, very very nice. 28 armor, which is plus 21, and plus 7 strength. That is a huge upgrade. <laughs> Powerful magic gloves. Don't mind if I do. Mark the old ones as junk. Uh, cool. I keep expecting it to just, like, automatically pick up the gold. <laughs> but it doesn't. You have to press it. So hang on, uh, can I check the map? So there were other ways to go from that main room. We'll have to go back. Later. Not yet. See where this path takes us. It might just be a loop, it might just loop around. Good job, lads. Love your work. Boink. Strider's hand wraps. You're not going to be as good. Nope. Simple dagger. I mean, it's not a scythe, so I don't know how this works. Like, can I even equip this? It says I can. Like, 31 damage per second. Like, if I equip that. Does I, I guess I should actually Google that at some point. Probably after this, after I record this part. Like, that, because it's a dagger, so I would think that's a rogue weapon. I can't use that, but... I can equip it. So is it just like any weapon works for any one? It doesn't actually matter what you're using? Because it's not like I'm... It's not like I'm actually using the scythe. I'm using magic and shit. So, I don't know. All oh, right, I need to uh, get this. Advanced skills. You've gained access to more powerful skills. Indeed, I have. Um, okay, the blight. That was what we said was seeming pretty good, yeah. Concentrated Blight, 13 damage, leaves behind a defiled area. Let's do that. Uh, that is on my X, okay. So we want to drop that at the start of a new combat. Uh, yeah, this is a loop. This is going back into the main hall. Cool. Okay. So, that just leaves over here as the way to go. Healing well. I mean, we're full on heals, right? Yeah. So, are we going to have a boss down here? Hell-touched corridors. Is that a trap? If I stat- is Okay, let you know what? For science, let's find out. No, not a trap. Okay, I thought maybe that was a trap. Um, whoa, hello. Okay, drop that. Drop the old blight. Okay, it's not actually as big as I was expecting. Ah, the shaman is resurrecting them. I see, I see. Hello. Ok, 
Okay, so shamans, pretty dangerous. They're gonna infinitely res the people. Fire recalling, okay. A two-handed sword. I guess I'm marking this as junk. Uh, 53 damage per second. Wait, okay, how much does item power matter? Because this has more damage per second, but it has quite a lot less item power. I wish it would tell me the difference, because <laughs> I have no idea. Is item power more important than damage per second? Is item power just a nothing stat? Like, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, but I guess we'll swap out for the sword. Uh, man, we've come a long... Was this a dead end? Like... <laughs> I feel like we're going a long way in one direction. No shamaning for you today, mate. Not happening. Let's keep going this way. We can come back. Okay, yeah, this is a dead end. Good, I thought it might be. I had a feeling. Come, my minions. Jubbly. Strider's leggings. Is this a better shield? Uh. Oh, the I see. I just realized that the sword takes up the shield slot as well. Okay. Like, are we actually blocking anything with it? <sighs> Let's go that, and let's put the dagger back on, I guess. I feel like, I don't know, I don't know if the shield is actually doing anything for us, but it probably makes sense to keep it, I guess. Armor, lovely jubbly. I do think, like, they must know that there's going to be a ton of people playing Diablo for the first time. I do think that they should uh, have spent a bit of time making sure that, like, tips would pop up on the obvious questions like I'm asking like is item power more important than damage why is this one's damage so much higher when its item power is so much lower and all that you know uh well unfortunately it does appear that we did not check out this is it literally just a dead end it might literally just be a dead end do I want to walk all the way back just to see if it's a dead end not really let's just keep going The Chamber of Calling. Oh boy. What have we got here? The Decapitated Priest? That sounds fine. Exfal the Scarred Baron. Right. Hello, Exfal. Oh my god, he has just fucked my entire group. Uh, that's not great. Uh. 
You're dead, mate. You're done. It's over. Lovely jumbly. Level 5. Class feature unlock. Book of the Dead. Uh, skeletal Warriors. Level up to unlock more minion types and abilities. Okay. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> what is this? Skeletal Warriors. Right. Uh, either select an upgrade or sacrifice your summons. Huh. So an upgrade would be you can raise an additional warrior. Or uh, each time you critically strike your skirmishers warriors next attack critically strikes and deals 50% bonus crit damage once every three seconds. Right. Or your critical strike chances increase but you can no longer raise skeletal warriors? What? Then what do you raise? Is, is the entire point of your class just useless if you click that? I mean, I guess you could... At level 8, you can raise other ones? Defenders or something? I don't know. That seems weird. Uh, I think just one additional warrior is good, right? Let's do that. And th this is freely swappable, it looks like. Cool. Um, abilities. Hello, baby. Right. Um, so these, we, we need more essence generators, probably. Although... Wait, no, we'd have to get that before we get that. Um... This sounds really good. Bone spear that deals 39 damage. Wait, I guess it's I guess the amount of damage it deals is increasing as we level up because I'm pretty sure it wasn't that much before, right? Uh Yeah, let's go bone spear. That sounds pretty great. Or we can just upgrade, like, our base shit as well, is the other thing. I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's so much I want. Let's do that. That sounds great. Uh... Oh, I just realized we haven't unlocked slots for it. Oh, crap. So you could do that and you wouldn't have your essence generator and that would be a terrible idea. Uh, no way. Uh, how do I... Wait, how do I... I don't want to assign Bone Spear. I want to assign... I want to keep it as my... top one. I don't actually know how... Am I going crazy? How do I? <laughs> I unassign it, but then it only gives me the option to reassign Bone Spear. I don't want to assign Bone Spear. I want to assign the one on the top row. D-pad doesn't move me around the top row. D-pad moves me around this row. Right stick doesn't move me around the top row. How the fuck do I reassign? I was just fucking around. <laughs> How do I reassign my actual scythe? What? I'm confused. Oh, is it because you have to go back to here and do it? Oh, okay. There we go. So I bought that, but it's actually kind of pointless. 
So... Because I can't use it yet. I mean, I can, but... I don't have a slot currently. Um... Hmm, maybe it'd be better to have that instead of this for the time being? I didn't realize that you'd only have, I guess I should have, that should have been obvious, but I didn't realize I was only going to have a couple of slots to begin with. Um, okay, let's just try out that instead of that for a bit, shall we? Sure, sounds good. Hand sickle scythe pants. Uh, executing hand sickle. Uh, raising scythe. So it's slower, uh, but it does more damage per second. I guess we'll do that. Better pants. Sure. Alright. Anything else to see in here? Oh, that's the exit. <laughs> Did not realise that was the exit, but whatever. Boots. Don't mind if I do... Raise those. Can't raise from that either, okay. So, guess we're heading back to town. You've returned. I have. The old ruins are clear. Your town should be safe now. Truly? Ha! Huh. By the light, you are heaven sent! I am. Oh, I'm so sorry. We, we haven't any coin to offer. But we have hot stew, good company, and... Stay for a pint. Wash out the taste of the stew. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be honored if you'd join us. To our savior! <laughs> and then we got drunk. Oh, wait, did we get poisoned? We got fucking sleep potion. I see. <clears throat> well, motherfucker. Saw my corpse, and from my mouth crawled hatred. A father burnt his children on a pyre, and a mother molded a new age from the ashes. I saw the weak made strong, a pack of lambs feasting on wolves. Tears of blood rained on a desert jewel, and the way to hell was torn asunder. Then came a spear of light, piercing hatred's heart, and he who was bound in chains was set free. Rathma's prophecy. Oh, that seems great. 
this what the stew is made out of? Passers by. Well, that's grim. By mother's blood, by mother's body, so uh, shall you witness her glory before you die. <laughs> Wakey, wakey! Uh, not oh, ready hello. Yet. What are you doing? They're coming! The whole damned village! Get up! Get up! We have to fight our way out! There! Take them! Uh-oh. May the light preserve us. Lost souls! Where are you? Uh, better hands? Yep, looks good. And better body? Yep, looks good. Dumb motherfuckers. Stannis. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Dumb. Vanny. Dumb. You are blessed like us now. <sighs> that was all of them. Light willing. Thanks for the chapel key, mate. Love a bit of chapel keyage. Anything up here? No. All right. Well, <laughs> that was unfortunate for the villagers. They really thought they were the main character, and they have in fact learned that I am the main character. <laughs> okay. Well, this is going pretty well so far. I am thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, we, this is definitely like <laughs> the very start, and we have a long, 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 long way to go. With how many skills and combinations and everything. Uh, but yes, no, this was a very strong opening, I felt. This is where we will be ending the first part. Solid, uh, big part one. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I, I certainly am. If you are enjoying, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do here, there is a Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely helpful with the ongoing running of the channel, the buying of these games at launch, all that jazz. I would massively appreciate any support there. And with that, I will see you next time for more Diablo 4. Thanks for watching. See you then.